Hi, welcome to the time remapping section of this After Effects basic training series. What we're gonna do is take a look at speed changes inside of After Effects. Now, again, we have this clip of our action star kind of jumping back. And what we wanna do, for example, is slow the clip down 50%. So to do that, we'll select the layer, right click, choose time, time stretch and we get a dialog that allows us to stretch the footage. Now we can stretch it 200%, which means twice as long as the original, or 50%, which would be twice as fast, or half as long. So depending on uh, you know the way you look at it, most video editors does this reverse, so it is important to kind of understand the way it actually works in After Effects. So in this case, we'll set it to 200%, or twice as long as it normally is. So now we can preview this in slow motion. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, half the speed. Now, when you slow clips down in After Effects, basically what's happening is every other frame is duplicated twice. So if I hit page up and page down, I can cycle through the frames. Now you'll notice current time indicator will change but the frame doesn't change and that's simply because every frame is being duplicated in order to make it twice as long now there's other ways to process speed changes the first way is to blend the frames together and that way you have frame one you have frame two and in between frame one and frame two is frame one and frame two blended together at 50 percent opacity or so and what we want to do is turn on this frame blending switch and you can see we sort of have a diagonal line this way and then turn on the frame blending for the composition and now if I preview this back you'll see it's a little bit smoother but we sort of have this frame blending business now sometimes this is okay depending on the effect you're looking for sometimes not really. Now if we click again on this frame blending, we're going to be using a function called Pixel Motion. Now Pixel Motion is a brand new function in After Effects 7 and CS3 that allows frames to be blended based on their motion. So instead of just blending layers together, it actually analyzes the frame and creates an intermediate frame. So if I toggle through these frames one by one using page up and page down, you'll see that each frame is unique and we don't have that frame blending business. Now if you look, if you look right here, you will see some funky warping. And that's sort of a side effect of this effect, but in this case that would have been keyed out, but it's not always perfect, but for the most part you're going to get some really nice slow motion. So let's preview this out. Now sometimes I cut out the RAM previews, but I just want you to see that, yes, RAM previews take a long time, no matter who you are. It's just something you gotta wait for. Okay. So as you can see, this is a lot smoother than uh, you know just duplicating the frames, and it's not as awkward as the frame blending. So that's one way to do it. Now, you can actually do some other type of speed changes in After Effects. And I'm going to go ahead and shut off frame blending so that it's a little quicker. And that is called a speed ramp. A speed ramp meaning you can go really fast and then go really slow all in the same clip. Or go really fast, go slow, then go fast again. And to do that, we right click and we choose time, enable time remapping. So we're going to remap time. And this works just like normal keyframes. We set keyframes and we move them around. So what I'm going to do is set a keyframe right here at the beginning, move forward to his jump, set a keyframe, and move forward to right after his jump and set a keyframe. So now we have time from here to here, and we have time from here to here mapped out by these keyframes. Now what I can do is move this keyframe closer to its first keyframe so that now this goes by fast. Now it doesn't look like it, but if I were to play this back, you would see it's actually going by fast. Now, 
from here to here now is separated. And if I separate it even more, we're gonna see slow motion. So as you can see, it's really going slow because it's taking a long time to get from this point in time to this point in time. So I'm gonna turn on our frame blending and then I'm gonna preview this and you're gonna see what I mean. Okay. This is basically how time remapping works in After Effects. For a more advanced tutorial on time remapping, check out videocopilot.net. There is a time remapping tutorial on there. So you can see the possibility of using this technique to kind of simulate that 300 speed ramp where it goes fast and slow back and forth. So be sure to check that out.